Hey, Huxer here. Being a child of God by faith in Christ is the same as being a child of Abraham. Those who are the sons of God are the children of Abraham as promised by God and accordingly they alone are the heirs to the promise given by God to Abraham which we uh, already know what that is throughout Paul's letters he continually stresses the fact that the heirship has nothing to do with uh, your physical birth or the physical location you're in or the religious practices you uh, participate in like the keeping of Jewish laws at every turn Paul points out that the airship is based upon faith only and only those who are uh, sons of God are the children of Abraham according to the promise given to Abraham by God the blessings of that promise are passed down by faith not by uh, your race or uh, nationality I heard a video this morning watched a video this morning by Sister Sunshine who pretty much agrees with this author that she was reading that Japan's earthquake was a result of Japan aiding the Palestinians with monetary support for food medicine and so forth the United States gives approximately 1.8 million dollars per day to Israel. Israel a nation that one of the requirements of becoming a citizenship of that nation is you have to be a Jew by birth. Your mother, your grandmother, your father, your grandfather and Christianity is is uh, outlawed there's no preaching of the gospel in Israel now there's places where tourists go and, and uh, people from TBN go over there and they set up they preach Christianity but not uh, in, in the uh, public places in Israel itself In 1948, the UN divided Israel, or that land, into two states and gave the Jews 55% of the land and gave the Palestinians 45% of the land. Uh, wars immediately broke out, and today Palestinians have lost. 23% of their land, giving them only 22% left. A lot of those Palestinians that were uh, made to leave their homes or killed were Christians. There's is like an ethnic ethnic cleansing going on, and, and uh, you know, you if you are uh, a Jew by birth mother, your grandmother, your father, your grandfather. You can obtain automatic citizenship in Israel. But a Christian cannot. So people who are supporting this fleshly, physical Israel today saying that they are God's chosen people when they're uh, Israelis, not Israelites, they're Israelis, is, is like saying that uh, when Christ told them he would take the kingdom from them and give it to another, when we're told that uh, Jesus is the Israel of God in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, that we have to overlook that 
and say even though that nation, a geographic location over there today is doing ethnic cleansing, they are rejecting Jesus as the Messiah and they have laws against preaching the New Testament that, that the wrath of God is coming down on people who go against these people uh, have a hard time understanding uh, how a, uh, Israel be could become God's chosen nation over there again in rebellion to God Jesus told them that they had filled up their cup of sin for killing the prophets, killing and stoning the messengers sent to them by God, and that they went on to kill Jesus himself. John reiterates this in Revelation. And today, they're Zionists. They are anti-Jesus. But yet anybody that says anything against them or supports anybody that they are suppressing. We have Christians on here like Sister Sunshine saying that they will receive the wrath of God. You can believe what you want. Everybody can believe what they want. But I find her teachings very hard even listen to much less believe peace